Hello. Hello. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Holla at Your Reef Boy YouTube video. Today we're going to do a little bit of unboxing. We're going to open up this custom made ATO wrist ball made by Blue Tie Aquilics. I'll put the description of the Blue Tie Aquilics in the comments below, so check them out. I think it's going to look awesome. Now I had Blue Tie Aquilic uh, made a um, red and white theme kind of ATO uh, box to match my theme. So, and also ask them to incorporate this logo into it. So let's check it out, see what it looks like. Now, before we open it up, let me talk about what this means, about having, how important it is to have an ATO wrist ball. What it is, is basically holding fresh water. And why is it important to hold fresh water in a salt water aquarium? Because if you think about it, when a salt water evaporates, the water is what evaporates, but the salt stays behind. So if you were to replenish the salt water with new salt water, what's gonna happen is your salinity is gonna rise because all that salt that was left from evaporation, all it is has been concentrated and it's just gonna build up the salinity level. And that is not good. That's not good for your reef tank and that's definitely not keeping your reef tank stable. And so we don't like that. We don't want that. So what you're gonna to have to do is replenish it with fresh water. And remember that word, replenish. Now the when you replenish with fresh water, it keeps that salinity level stable and accurate because you don't want that thing to swing. So that's why it's important to, to keep that level of salinity. Now you think of nature, right? When the ocean that we have in the earth today, when it's the same concept, water evaporates, so salt stays behind. But guess what? When it rains, it doesn't rain salt water, it rains fresh water. So it replenishes the earth and it keeps the ocean uh, salinity stable as well so for the live uh, animals that are living in the ocean. So same concept here, we are replenishing the tank with fresh water to keep the tank stable. Cool. Alright, so let's get this all, let's get this custom uh, uh, box open. Y'all ready? I'm excited. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Check this out guys. Y'all ready? Look at this. Y'all ready for the logo? Look! Woo! -wee! Look at that man! Man, that looks awesome. Blue tie acrylics, awesome job. Look at that. That looks so cool. I love it. I love it. All right. So check out this beauty that blue tie acrylics made. Oh my goodness. Can't believe the attention to detail that they made this thing to be. So up here you got your caps to open to fill the reservoir. See, with fresh water. And there you can see the pump holder and probe holder. And whatnot. You also got a, a cap in the back here. You're going to... Also, uh, take out this top to put in the, you know, power wires and whatnot up here as well. So, it's awesome. This thing, I believe, going to hold about 27, 25, 27 gallons. So, plenty of uh, water and in, in, in space for, uh, so I can go on a vacation if I need to, for water to be refilled. And the plan is to put this in here to replace this blue container. So, there you have it. It's gonna look awesome. So let me go ahead and put this in. All right guys, so check it out. Now excuse the uh, pump. I ran out of the uh, black tube, so I'm gonna probably order another one because it's kind of short. But ideally that pump needs to sit in the uh, pump holder right there. So I'll fix that later on, but check it out what you guys think. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Oh man, Blue Tie Acrylics, you did a phenomenal job. So this right here will uh, feed the tank. As the water evaporates, it will go into here. As you can see, I made a kind of a uh, DIY uh, PVC pump return here. So as the two 
the black tip, as you can see in the background there, it'll go into here and it won't make a splash, it will just go down into the return pump area. So awesome. So I can't wait till this thing start being in operation mode and it will keep this tank in check in terms of uh, water top off. So hats off to Blue Tie Products for doing a wonderful, phenomenal job. So I hook up this DIY manifold into these two reactors here and what I had to do was uh, I bought a I believe a half an inch uh, PVC from BRS and glue it uh, with PVC cement and pretty much make the outlet go down back into the sump and as you can see here this will go on to a single uh, 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 inlet which will be hooked up to this manifold system here. As you can see, after the, the core pump goes up to check valve into the tank and this right here, I can open up this ball valve so water can flow that will go right into my reactors. And as you can see here, this is where I want to re uh, place the reactor chamber. So they will be standing up here and perfectly height where it goes just right below this uh, uh, UV sterilizer. So can't wait. And then on this left side here will be the future skimmer. Uh, I'm still debating between the Reef Octopus or the new Reef uh, Reefer skimmers that's coming out by Red Sea. So I'm really excited about that. So uh, look for a future video on that as I uh, purchase one of them. Uh, anyway, so let's check it out. All right, guys. So here it is. Uh, the reactors are hooked up to the manifold. Uh, into the return pump. So as you can see here, I connected this uh, union uh, with uh, the reactor. So what happens when I open up this ball valve, water goes in here, goes up, it fills up the reactors, goes up and goes out to this outlet and goes to this UV sterilizer and go back into the return area and up the tank it goes. So there's a little recycling uh, going on here, but it, it's okay. Eventually the water makes it through. So super clean water. So that's awesome. So let's open up this ball valve and see how it goes. There's going to be a little bubbling here as you go, but as you can see, in a little bit, water will begin to fill up. As you can see there, it fills up. And once this fills up and goes out, it will eventually uh, calm down and quiet down. So there you go. And voila. How awesome is that? So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a reactor chamber, dual reactor chamber, that I can put carbon or GFO or anything I want in these things. So awesome. All right, there you go. All right, the box is in. So I'm excited, I'm happy. So hats off to Blue Tie Acrylics for making this beautiful uh, box. So it looks awesome. So thank you so much. And so you remember earlier I was talking about the word replenish, how it's important that in our hobby, we need to replenish the salt water tank with fresh water. It's because as water evaporates, salt stays behind. And we need to replenish the tank with fresh water so that the salinity can be stable where it doesn't fluctuate up and down. So that's very important and very key to stability. Now, we think about life. Sometimes we have our up, sometimes we have our down. But what can we do to replenish our life so that we can make sure it kind of stays stable, right? Or that we can live it with out having so much anxiety or so much hatred and whatnot right so today i want to share some verses that hopefully it will bless you and help you psalms chapter 46 verse 10 it says be still and know that i am god uh, it takes me about an hour and a half uh, uh, to get to work because i take the kids to daycare and during that hour and a half drive i listen to worship music i listen to sermons and sometimes i just sit and be still and just kind of talk to god and ask them to uh, for certain things in my life that I need help with. Um, so it's good to be still and just uh, stay in the presence of the Lord. It says in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5, it says this, A wise man will hear and increase in learning, and a man of understanding 
will acquire wise counsel. You know, God often speaks to us in a still small voice. He often speaks to us through life circumstances. He often speaks to us through sermon. Like I said, I was listening to a sermon and God reveals stuff to me through that message. Uh, same thing with worship is sometimes when you just worship God, God speaks to us through the songs that we listen to. And uh, it's a great thing, you know, every day God is wanting to speak to us. So I encourage you, if you haven't set aside a time in the day where you listen or talk to God or hear God, I, I encourage you to start now because you, it will bless you so much. The last one is to meditate. It says this in Psalms chapter 1 verse 2, it says that, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. You know, um, with the busyness of his life, our mind get cluttered around the things um, of work, of school, activities, you know, it demands our attention. And, you know, as me as a father, uh, my kids demands my attention. Even though I'm not great at always giving that attention they need, but I strive to, to always give them a hug and a kiss and love on them and spend time with them because they will never be this small again, right? They, they're always growing. So I cherish every moment that I have with them. I cherish everything that I can give them. Uh, bless them with and so you know to me uh, sometimes just to uh, spend time with them is awesome you know in life we have all this to-do list and it clutters our mind so, and the bible here is trying to tell us that we just need to meditate on god's word that's how you get replenished that's how you get revived anyway so thank you guys for joining in with uh, the video today I, I hope that you like the video and if you do please hit the like button and if you don't mind please hit that subscribe button as well and hit that notification bell so you can always be in the know when the next holla at your reef boy youtube video uh, uploads so again thank you for sharing my journey with me and i hope that the lesson today blesses you uh until next time happy reefing and i'll see you next time holla please like the video <laughs> <laughs> jesus loves you